rock as uh, physical games go. That was right up there, wasn't it? It was, yeah. That was um, the message to the players before the game and at half-time and just reiterated at the, uh, at the end there. Intensity and physicality wise, that was uh, more like a top end championship game. So, on the attitude and endeavour, a massively uh, pleasing night. Obviously, uh, school bid didn't quite go for us tonight, but uh, a very worthwhile six and a half hour journey up here. That try at the end sort of took the gloss of it a little bit because the guys defended pretty well for much of that game. Yeah, it was disappointing. Um, it actually came from us making an error, which a lot of their points did come from. But uh, you're going to get that. Look, we're throwing kids off the bench who, um, who've trained once or twice, so we're going to make some system errors. But overall, a real positive night, a great endeavour. The sort of lessons that you learn from playing a game like that will really hold you good stead, won't it? It will. Uh, pleasing that we got everybody on as well. So, I said before the game, our seasoned players, if you like, the likes of Skirvins and Trainer and Townsend, players who have played in a you know a good standard of rugby, have been outstanding with their attitude towards this A-League, actually enjoyed playing and then kind of allied with that, if you like, we're getting it, Elias Caven off the bench and Lukas Slovic playing some rugby against good players, against international rugby players, so it's, uh, it's a great, great competition for us. It doesn't get any easier next week with Gloucester, it's quite a learning curve. No, but it's nice, isn't it? It's nice to see uh, a Bristol v Gloucester fixture, it's who we want to be competing against in, uh, in the first team long term, so it's, uh, it's great for the young players to play against teams like Gloucester and Newcastle and test themselves against good, uh, good quality opposition.